Today on Uncommonly Good MTG, we're playing with a deck that is so easy to win with that this will probably be the last time I play it because it's going to be too cliche and too awesome. What is it? It's infinite cheating, folks. The word cheating indicates that this deck feels like you're cheating when you're playing with it because it is that good. Uh, if that sounds interesting to you, then stay tuned to find out more. Hello and welcome to Uncommonly Good MTG. I'm your host, a person that's currently being ratatouille by a sewer rat so that I can put these decks together with some sort of civility. Doctor, you can't suck it. Yes, thank you. Film before a live studio audience. Thank you so much. You can't suck it. Word to your mama. So I'm broadcasting to you today from my secret underground headquarters, and I'm bringing to you a deck I found over on the Aether Hub, hosted by the fresh produce called Infinite Cheating Merfolks. Uh, yeah, that's the way it feels. When you're playing this deck, it feels like, number one, the merfolk are always coming and number two, that you're cheating while you're playing it because man, there's just so many darn merfolks. And the way that the things you're allowed to do with them is it's unreal. Unreal. All right. So, yeah, this deck is it's going to be a big time deck. It's going to be in the top five. Everyone's going to be playing it. I noticed it the last couple of days. I decided I needed to jump on it while it was still a little early. And here we go. So let's take a look at the cards that are in this deck. We'll talk a little bit of how the deck should work, and then we'll go out and we'll crush some hopes and dreams. All right, what do we got? We got uh, we got a bunch of cheap merfolk, one that can fly. You can turn him into a face-down dude. And then when he comes back in, uh, if turn face up in a turn, whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, you investigate. So, you know, whatever. Otherwise, you got a flying guy, right? This guy comes in, and he can explore once. This guy comes in, he can explore X times depending on what you can pump into him. And exploring just means that if you got a if you got a land on the top of your deck, you pull in your land into your hand. Otherwise, you leave it and uh you get a popo counter on that creature. So you could be really pumped potentially. With his little, you know, light brow light bulb. Alright, what do we got here? Uh this is Deep Root Pilgrimage, which whenever you one or more non tap merfolk become tapped, you create a 1-1 one, one blue merfolk creature token with hexproof. Hexproof. So these guys start coming out like crazy. They are. This is where your infinite merfolks come from, is Deep Root Pilgrimage. Every time one of your guys taps, I mean, if you do a bunch at one time, like an attack, so that's the one or more, you get one guy out of the deal. But still, if you could tap them, you know, because of, let's just say, vehicles, or you could tap them because you could untap a target permanent you control, Right? and then tap it again for some stupid reason, then yeah, you could do it over and over and over again, putting out dudes every turn. All right, this is another vehicle, which allows you to te technically pump up the guys that you're using to, to crew it. Uh, this guy is a lord with flash, and you could, for it costs you absolutely nothing. He doesn't have to be tapped or untapped. You could just counter a target non-creature spell unless his opponent play, you know pays one. So... You know, it's cheap to overcome, but if they've used up all their mana, you can sacrifice any guy, including the little tiny dude this thing pumps out, to, to do it. And maybe you have to do four or five or seven of them. Sure, eventually you'll, you'll get rid of it. You'll, you'll kick, you will counter that spell. All right, this gets rid of things out of graveyards and puts popo counters on creatures you control. Uh, this taps dudes and tap creatures you control have hexproof, which is nice because it keeps them from getting nailed. Uh, this will untap target permanent, and you can collect evidence to tap target creature you don't control. Mind Link Mech makes copies of dudes you have. I find it's really good to make copies of the Hex Catcher because he's a lord, which means you got a flying 4-3 that'll become a 5-4, as well as pumping up all your other dudes by also by a plus one, plus one. So, rocking. And uh, this guy... Comes in, you create a map token. He's got Vigilance. 
and he puts out map tokens every time he attacks. Over here, we got uh, a bunch of tribal lands. We got the kind that, uh, you know, a Simic, what is it, a 5-5 five, five plant creature. And another one of your target creature has a base toughness of 3-3 three, three until the end of turn. So he'll pump up one of your other little dudes, potentially. And we got the ability to bounce, and we have the ability to disenchant stuff. So that's it. So what are we going to do with this deck? We're going to get a bunch of merfolk out. We'll pump them up as much as we can. We'll have Deep Moon Pilgrimage, which when every time that they tap, we're going to start building out babies. This will give all you guys plus one, plus one. It, it'll just be... And if they try to do anything to your dudes, they'll either have Hexproof or potentially you just counter it. Mind Link Mech and uh, Subtrainer Schooner also help to get everything going. And if you need to, you pin the other dudes down and you just march in and kill the other guy. Use your lands as much as possible to help yourself out. And that's the deck. All right, so before we go out and do some damage, let's do as we always do and say our prayers and talk about what is best in life. Hands together. Dear Black King Toxroll, who dwells within the dark chambers of my heart, please hear my prayers and grant your blessings as we attempt to crush our enemies, see them driven before us, and to hear the lamentation of the women. All right, we're playing against Hidu. Hiduki, Hiduki, there you go. All right, we got two mana. That's enough to play pretty much everything in my hand. Let's keep it. Merfolk, let's tip our hand. We are getting those cards that are crazy, aren't we? Caverns of Souls, just tons of them. It's all my mana is to be Caverns of Souls. Things that will keep us from having counterspelled on Merfolk, though. Alright, let's try this. It taps it right. All in! Doing for the will, despite how our lands are. I mean, I guess these are fast, and we had nothing but merfolk, so why not, right? So I say once per turn. I don't know. Let's see what's gonna happen here. Go get him. Well, if we can just tap them individually, it's coming a lot better. All right, we're still good, and we're just flooding the board. If he wipes the board, that would be really bad. Let's hold back with the guys we have just for that situation, though. Get him! That's cool, man. That's desperate on his part. Ooh, I didn't realize we had vehicles in here. Crazy. He's making a knigget. Merfolk. Yeah, I'm not going to... We're not doing that. Remember, we're afraid of board wipes. He's got vigilance. What else, man? Jesus, people. Go, go, go. Go, go, Speed Racer. You're a demon on wheels. Oh, man, you're going to gain two life. Sure, man. All 
All right, down to seven. Anything else good? Explores X times. Explores one time. Should I try exploring? Yeah, let's do it. All right, you can bump a dude up. Look at everyone, it's got first strike. I kind of wish I had some uh, guys that are merfolk pumping, but that's not really working right now, is it? Uh, do I really want to go? I'm just going to go after him. It's going to be fine. That's my real problem right there. I needed that. Uh, okay, we're going for it. Well, that was pretty cool. He's got two. Look out, everybody. All right, we're going to swarm in, unless he can do something, but he didn't seem to... Yep, that's it. He didn't seem to be in a do-something kind of mood. Victory! All right, we are playing against Bong Lord. I'm not sure his mom knows that that's what he's named. One, two, three, cool. This is probably the... Like one of the dumbest draws we can get for this, but we'll see what we get into here. Yeah, man. Totally cool. I'm gonna touch the precious. Alright, he's playing Monoway Soldier. That's going to be slow. Yes! Nuts, man. I mean, hopefully he doesn't have the ability to get rid of it. He's coming in as is, baby. All right, go ahead. Kill somebody if you like. mana for it. All right, that's fine. Well, here's a mana. Merfolk. Let's just do this guy, and we'll spin him out three times. Uh, first strike. Dang it, I kind of needed it to guy, but he'll just slaughter him. So, uh, no tax. Now, Thalia is his biggest hope right now. All right, I've seen this in. Let's do it. He's got nothing but things to lose. Let's 
You wanna come at me, brah? Or are you taking something out? I'm a 444. I guess it could have came in and blocked out oh, the mind connect. That's what I should have done. Let's put our boy out. All right, we got tapped. All right, here we go. Nice. And we win. And we win. Merfolk victory. All right, we're putting against Doped Up Killer. Dude, if you're going to be a killer, you should keep a clear mind. Some things are important. Uh, this is a fast aggro hand. I like it quite a bit. Deep deep Root Pilgrimage is by far the best card in this deck when playing with everything else here. Well, I think it's weird, weird is the way that it's phased. It's phrased, I should say. Because it's not once per turn, but it's like once per action or something. Cool. He sort of decided just to chill out. And, uh, yeah, I'll attack. Because if he blocks, I can kill the Swift Sphere, but he's not going to block. He'll just bounce me. That's what he'll do. He'll be fine. And I managed to create a dude out of the deal. I need to get the submarine and schooner out there. I'm surprised he's not frying my, my, with all those little dudes. He also not playing Trixie. Yeah, man, have a good time, man. I don't care. Double strike it. Is that what you want to do? I'm down to eight. That's not the coolest thing in the world. Uh, let's see. We've still got only two mana. Let's see if I can screw him over this. Well, I won't have any mana if I do that. I'll do it anyway. He's the only guy I can put out. If I had put out the other deer deep root pilgrimage, I'd have two dudes. That would actually be pretty good. But I also got a lord out, which isn't bad at all. I'm gonna have to start chumping. Nice, and they're super attackers. Let's go get them, man. There we go. All right, we got a bum. We got two blockers. All right, that's fine. All right, getting shot in the face. That sounds like a very mono red way of uh, finishing the game off. All right, I got one life left, and I win. Four billion dudes. 
or maybe two. I have a hard time telling the difference. Winner, winner, victory dinner. All right, we're playing against, what is this here? Independence Kalis? Kalis? Something like that? All right, keep. What do we got? Uh, let's just do this. Merfolk! Let's turn off that dragon. Oh, great. Pain lands. You think that he's going to go ahead and give up the stubby penis for one C-note scout? That's all it does, man. It just puts out babies. All right, cool. Apparently you don't like your guy. All right, we got a three here. Let's mind link mech. And we'll just hold on to it for a second here. All in, come on. Let me go. I'm going to attack. He's tapped. I get a baby. Or does that have to be non-token? All right, I don't get anything out of the deal. What am I rocking? Let's go for a forest. Yeah, I had to draw a second ago, so now my soundtrack's all totally messed up. That's a big bug, you know? When you draw, they end up playing two soundtracks over the top of each other. Until you reboot your computer. Or not your computer, but... Until you reboot the game. All right, go get him. Get him, get him, get him. All right, punch him in the face. He's starting to mill himself. We're playing against Roots. All right. One, two. Let's just go for this. I've never played this card before. Stun counter! Stun counter! Cool, man. All right, it's down to 10. We got tons of guys. I think we could kill them. And we win. That's all there is to it. Victory. All right, playing against Papa Doc 66. All right, we're gonna murder our way out. Let's go ahead and get a little mystery spy out there. Hold together a little bit of flying, maybe. Bam, what are you gonna do for us? Perfect. You're gonna get pumped. That's what you're gonna do. You're gonna get all jacked, all swole. I like Flying Boy better. What can I say?
Uh, we got a hex catcher. And let's go ahead and get this guy pumped up here. So we got another another lord out. Down to ten. Oh. Going again, and we're going to make some babies this time. A couple of them. What do you think you're doing up there? More babies. I right, hope they won't wipe the board. That would completely suck. I maybe should have, like... You can draw cards. I don't care, man. I'll counter the things you try to actually play. That's a lot of mana. And the game's over. Boom, boom, goes the room. Victory. All right, so here we are with uh, Cheating Merfolks, which is short for Infinite Cheating Merfolks. And yeah, this deck, this deck was insane Asaurus Rex. It was totally nuts. The fact that, uh, God, what was it? The Deep Root Pilgrimage just kept putting out babies constantly. Uh, I'm glad it wasn't for every time something attacked it because then it would just this would be played just all the time. Really, for blue, this is the war leader's call. You got to get rid of it if you see it. This is just such a really insane card. Um, the other guy that is nuts is the Voldarian Hexcatcher. Being both a Murphlack Lord and flashy makes it unto itself a trick, more or less. But even more so, you can just sacrifice sacrifice any merfolk to counter a target non-creature spell unless this player plays one, which means as long as you get an extra merfolk sitting around, like say from the Deep Road Pilgrimage, you can just start countering non-target spells, non-creature spells like nuts. The other thing was Mind Leak Mech did such an incredible job of copying, making it, you know, usually copying the, the Lord and then making, basically becoming another merfolk, which then did other stuff and everything got pumped and oh my God, the synergy of these cards is just Insanosaurus, as I said before. All right, so let's see. Who was my MVP? Who was the most valuable player? I can tell you who it is. It was Deep Root Ogrimage. This was the most valuable player. Once, like, If I didn't have this one then out, then I was very concerned because you needed this one to just keep putting out tons of guys. The Swarm was strong with this one. And uh, you used those guys for lots of stuff. Uh, Boulder and Hexcatcher, he came swirling right up, right behind him. You would have been the MVP if it wasn't for Deep Root, Pil Deep Root Pilgrimage. Just because your ability to counterspell everything and give everything Popo, you know, plus one, plus one, and come out as Flash. My God, people. These, these cards, are, I mean, I remember some good old days when I had a good mill deck made out of Merfolk. There's no mill going on here, but these cards are working the way that those guys like to work with a lot of synergy. All right, so that was my MVP, Deep Root Pilgrimage. Congratulations, Enchantment. You're going to Disneyland. All right, was this deck competitive? Yes. Uh, I thought I was going to have a 100% win rate. I actually did lose one time. It was I didn't get Deep Root Pilgrimage out, I think the problem was. Um but I ended up with a 89% win rate out of nine games. Like, I, I lost once out of nine games. I won eight. It's, this deck, it kind of plays itself. It just comes out, and then they just start attacking, and they keep making babies, and everything just starts ballooning crazily out of control. You, you, you really don't have to do much thinking in this deck. It just sort of goes nuts all on its own. All right, so let's see. Um, was this deck fun? I mean, all right. For me, fun comes from putting out dudes, having them attack, maybe blocking some guys, playing some tricks. And uh, this deck did all of that. You know, the big thing is I'm not a big fan of counterspelling it. So, but I never really got a chance to counterspell at all. In all the games I played, I never got to use the hex catcher. 
for counterspelling. I kind of wish I saw somebody else doing it one time. It was ama- it was horrible and amazing at the same time, depending on whose side you're on. Um, but still, that's the only thing I think is the devil about this deck. Otherwise, this deck is incredibly good. Uh, totally fun. I enjoy the swarm. That you know, I love a good swarm deck. This one totally goes that way. Oh, what's also nice is the fact that we got the ability to pin dudes down too. That works. But then Lost in the Mage and Forensic, forensic Research. Beautiful. All right, so see, was this deck interesting? 100%. I mean, this is Merfolk Tribal. Love Tribal. We haven't really seen Merfolk doing anything in, in forever and a half. And they're back now, big time. This deck is really good. I am shocked that it didn't make it into the top five. I just think people just weren't ready to play a brand new deck yet. But this deck is essentially brand new. It's, you know, we haven't been playing anything like this in a while. Merfolk is fantastic. You're, this is going to be the new Slesny enchantment, in my opinion. So, uh, yeah, get get used to it. All right, uh, this will probably be the last time I play this deck, unless it gets into the top five win rate decks of next month or the month after that, which I don't doubt. So, uh, there you go. Let's add this thing up. Was it competitive? Yes. Was it fun? Yeah, it was. Was it interesting? There isn't anything like there's anything more interesting than this deck. All right, so that makes this deck an A plus deck. And as I'm required to say by federal law, this deck is so choice. I would highly recommend you pick one up should you have the means. All right, that's all for now. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. From all of us here in the secret underground headquarters of Uncommonly Good MTG, have a great day. See you next time, Space Cowboys. Later.